Hello and welcome. Last time we checked out the nice guys Reddit, it was it was a pretty depressing place. But poor bastards. I thought, in an effort to keep it fair, and because I was a little curious, we should check out the nice girls Reddit too, and see if there's a common element to it, and uh, what it is. <clears throat> uh, know your worth, kink. Uh, okay. If a guy real wants to talk to me, then he will. Okay, but not the other way around. No, cause I'm not desperate. Wow, I'll message a guy first after I see he puts in some effort. Lol, I'm not out here chasing guys. I want a man who can get the balls to talk to me. Simple as that. Clearly you can't. <clears throat> Excuse me? You're trying to tell me that I have to chase after you? That's not happening. I'm not the man. Or perhaps I hold myself to a higher level of respect than to chase someone with an obvious sense of entitlement who definitely does not deserve me and all I bring to the table. I've tried and you seem nice on the outside, but I'm going to cut, out, cut it off here. Have a good life. Yeah. Something tells me her life is not going to be that good anyway. <clears throat> I would love that, that, you know, like both sexes. Uh, are brought up in a way that uh, initiating relationships uh, would be just as normal. And I think we're getting there, but there's still like a a, a preference for... Is it like a little bit off to the side? For the guys to initiate? That's my impression. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, like... It's your choice. If you never want to initiate and you just want to wait for, like, the one guy who just, like, uh, uh, tries to pick you up, that's your fucking choice, you know? But I feel like you are just screwing yourself uh, that way. Because, you know, you see one great guy, you like him, like, wouldn't you want to initiate? Of course, uh, there was, like, other issues here. <clears throat> I'm not desperate. But that's not, not about being desperate. <laughs> uh, well, right. I, I I got Reddit content. <clears throat> hey, do you send? Not unless you send first. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're such a pig asking for someone's body just so you can get off from it. Didn't you s ask me first? Fuck off, I'm blocking you. Uh, took the words right out of my mouth. Fuck you, cunt. I don't really see too much point in in uh, those uh, sexy messages <laughs> with all the porn out there. Like, how thirsty you must be if the fucking ocean of porn is not enough to quench your thirst. The right, the guy was 100% in the right here. And I probably would not even care. <laughs> Maybe that sounds be a little, sounds like a little lame, but I don't know. Shit escalated quicker than the flash could run. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> I don't mind the picture, but the caption and the hashtag. Seeing... Okay. Seeing someone slowly losing interest in you is probably one of the worst feelings ever. Yep, they prefer women that cheat. <laughs> oh, man. I imagine the horror when this person is your girlfriend. You feel her slowly drifting away. One fucking at a time, right? Am I the only one? Uh, nice girl left. Do females that text good morning first and tell a guy have a good work, a good day at work still exist? Again, this is just like calling up other uh, females. I guess. I, don't, I wouldn't call this uh, too annoying. Female dating strategy? Maybe we're gonna check that out. Question mark seven. Okay. I think the overuse of the emojis is what really sells it, like, uh, as a nice girl. Most girls that look angry, mean, or stuck up, be the coolest females you ever meet. Okay. I don't really follow the logic here. I think is there's no logic to follow. This is obviously a purely emotional post. And obviously 
she is a, probably one or all of these she considers herself. Uh, that's why she said it. Folks, that's Snarling Tiger at the zoo that desperately trying to claw its way through the glass because it wants to viciously rip your guts out. It really just wants to cuddle and lick your hair. Yeah. If you come off as angry, mean, or stuck up, well, good luck. Uh, she doesn't understand how the girls who complain about everything get boyfriends, but then proceeds to complain about them and act like she's better than the rest. I don't understand girls who complain about it. <laughs> Come on, it's just word for word the same thing. I don't understand who girls who complain about everything could get a boyfriend. I'm I'm the coolest girl, and I still and I'm still single. I thought you guys hate drama. Well, this is drama. Coolest girl is subjective. And uh, you complain. So this is actually uh, pretty much pointed out. Not like the other girls. <laughs> so there are some other to uh, other subreddits to consider here. I'll make note of it. I'll never get it either. When you're gorgeous and loyal. And he picks a whore over you. <laughs> like I never get it. You don't have to bring others down. That's the whole point. You're gorgeous and loyal, what? Yeah, it's, it's unclear. Ver a lot of these are not logical... Uh, not logical at all. They're just like... Just like emotions. You, you, you feel... You feel uh, envious. Or jealous. And you feel enraged. And cheated, whatever. And just, just write this shit because it feels right. Because when you... When, when your emotions are in control... Everything feels right. Everything feels right. And I'm gonna tell you, it's always dumb shit. It's always dumb shit. So you wanna make sure that your emotions are never in control. <laughs> you just wanna make sure that uh, you let your logic make the decisions. And your emotions gonna be like, Ooh, I like it. That's how you do it. Every guy's dream is to support someone's uh, drug habit and someone else's kids. I'm thinking about becoming addicted to drugs, getting knocked up a few times, disturbing my mental stability, and learning how to be unceasingly needy so that I will be irresistible to ban. <laughs> I like this actually because it's funny. <laughs> it's, I th this is this is kind of meant to be as a joke, I think. Even though I can understand why they don't like it. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. Obviously, if she's... whatever. It's it's kind of funny in a way. I like edgy jokes, okay? Life isn't fair. Maybe uh, that's, what, that's why you're single. How come a woman who did not have a clue about how to handle money, so careless and not so smart, found two husbands so easily? While a hardworking, careful and sensible kind of woman is always single. Not fair. You don't have to bring others down. That's the whole point. I would like to see one topic where it's not about bringing others down. I would like to see how that would look, look like. Is, is this the whole thing? Whole, whole thing that, you know, just you just bring others down? Some high hypocrisy right there. To be honest, I'm, I'm looking for a relationship, but most guys find me unattractive, or all guys, to be honest. It it seems to stand for like a like a well obviously like a need for relationship. I have extreme anxiety, so if you are gonna waste my time, don't bother, cause I'm just want to settle down, cause I'm just sick of time wasters. I mean, I guess you can have that that mentality, but you can't really expect your next dating partner to be the one you settle down with but i guess you can have the expectation that you know you know i'm looking for a long-term relationship so let's just give it a shot like i guess that's that's fair enough <clears throat> most guys are assholes you know now you lost it someone changed my mind because there has to be a loyal guys out there you know when you say that i don't want to be the guy who uh, disproves it if you make plans with me uh then it Ignore and block me on the day without explanation. I will question myself into an emotional state. 
Speak to this person everywhere, I swear. Someone please talk to me. Uh, this seems to be uh, written uh, because she was ignored that day and she was triggered by this asshole, I guess. Because I guess making plans and canceling them on the same date is, is kind of a jerk move. But uh, yeah. Again, an emotional uh, uh, text right there. <clears throat> Wonders why she loses her f uh, friends, by the way. No cocky shit because I'm fucking insecure 24-7. That's not good. That's something that you have to work on. It's not some like, oh shit, I'm a minefield, so you better step right. No. <laughs> uh, but I'm a great person, and if you fuck up a, a chance to be in my life, and have to be this close as... What? And have this close as Bond, then you are missing out on someone that's gonna love you more than anyone as ever. I treat everyone. Okay. Uh, better than myself and IG. That's... I'm just gonna assume that she's drunk. Okay, whatever. We've seen enough. Uh, obviously, no cocky shit. <laughs> okay, we've seen too much already. I've seen too much. Lemao, I was scrolling on Facebook, and this girl I used to go high school with shared this. I will forever believe that men do not like smart, independent women. The thought sounds intriguing, but... When they get it, they have no idea what to do. Again, you're just picking on other women's. I, I, I get it. You know, guys definitely have a tendency to chase looks. But, again, a lot of guys like smart and independent. And I guess girls like it too, so I don't know. Guys like sluts. Uh, girls like fuckboys, so you can't... Whatever, man, girl, just just go out there and get a guy. If you think that men don't like you just because you're smart and independent, you probably aren't as smart as you think you are. I think men fucking love that, right? I like that. Fucking bring it on. Uh, look at this. What the fuck happened here? No, no, no. What the fuck? Okay, seems like we... Okay, we got it. We... Unfortunately, just uh, stumbled upon the low quality post uh, subreddit. <clears throat> I swear, some of you bitches be fucking up the best guys out there, and when a good girl comes along, he don't even wanna try because he assumes we like the rest of you. Ooh, this is actually quite interesting because you don't even blame the guys; you actually blame the other women for uh, fucking up the guys and, of course, taking the guys. Uh, wow. Uh, cropping is hard. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let, let's just... Uh, do you ever uh, take girls on dates? Yeah, I've been on dates. Not not the typical dress-up, eat uh, movies type, uh, type of dates. But, like, other types of dates that involves fun. Like laser tag, roller skating, the zoo, aquarium, picnic after the hike. I don't know, some memorable shit, not just movies or dinner. Fuck yeah! Take me on a date, man! That sounds amazing! Is there like a laser tag around here? This is what I... Yeah, fuck yeah, I would be totally into that, because I just like doing stuff. Either I like talking about interesting stuff, or I just like doing stuff. And... Yeah. Or, yeah. I do... Yeah, th th those are the two things. If it's just like... If it's just like talking about the weather, fuck no. I'm not into that. So, that sounds amazing. Fuck yeah, this this guy ha has it figured out. And the fact that I suck at all of those things, maybe not, like going to the zoo, like you can't suck at that, but like, this would be all awesome. Fuck yeah. I, I'm actually just making a note of that, because that sounds awesome. O other than maybe picnic after the hike. I don't want to hike. <laughs> but that could be good, just like, a, you know, like, it doesn't have to be a big hike, I guess. Like, obviously, this is like more like an indicator of like some kind of physical activity. You know, it could be. It doesn't have to be a hike. It can be just something else. But like, yeah, picking up the hike. That's again a pretty good idea right there. But I probably wouldn't travel like you know an hour to go hike somewhere else. 
you know, that kind of the whole point of a date is that, you know, you don't know the other person if it's, it's trustworthy. So you probably don't want to go for, you know, you don't want to go in their house, I guess. You know, because like, oh my God, he's going to kill me or she's going to kill me. So I don't know. I'm not too worried about that. But you, you want to meet them in a like a neutral location, like until you decide that they're going to murder you or not. And uh, or you just have like a quick escape, like, hey, hey, uh, nice date we're having here, but I'm uh, uh, the time is running out, so I, I gotta run. Uh, sorry, I, how, how uh, thoughtless of me. <laughs> I guess the whole point. So picnic after the hike, that depends on where the fuck the hike is. But if you're just like out, out, and like somewhere else, I don't think that's a good choice. But laser tag, roller skating, zoo, and the fucking aquarium, fuck yeah, this guy's giving me good ideas. I don't know, like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. It's, this is not just first date material, but like, you know, this is like a continued date material, you know, because you might go to, oh, actually, it's a good idea to think about it, because on a first date, you might go to like some restaurant shit, that's just boring as fuck, but you don't want that, like, you shouldn't think of, maybe you shouldn't think of as the first date as the first date, but you should think of it like as like a, you know, what would you do for like, with a girl that, you know, you were been with like, at least a few months, you know, would you really take her to a restaurant? That sounds boring as shit, you know? You would take her to somewhere cool, somewhere fun, you know, like, some, something to do, make something to see, whatever. I, I would be into that. Like, this is, this guy has it figured out. Fuck yeah. Uh, it, it's okay, you know, you can just, like, you know, go to a place and eat something. That, that's totally cool, too. That's totally cool, too. I'm not criticizing that. That, that could be okay. But I, I don't know what the picnic after the hike. I think that's okay. That's, uh, that's okay, but, uh, uh based on the physical condition of uh of uh parties and of course the distance of this uh, hike and whatnot that could be less idea i don't know uh some memorable shit not just some movies and dinner fuck yeah this guy is my hero uh this goes off is gonna love that that's not the kind of woman i am what the fuck he just fucking gave you i i, I didn't read that but he just actually just gave you the fucking bomb that i'm a fucking straight guy and i'm like fuck yeah you want to go to laser tag i'm fucking in all the way I don't even know what could to say. I guess you can just go to some, I don't know, board game. Maybe that would be more annoying. Uh, I don't know. But uh, this kind of like gets you moving, I guess. So it's just kind of cool. <clears throat> anyway, that's not the kind of woman I am. For the fir uh, first date, I wanna, I want com some communication. I mean, that that's kind of uh, understandable, you know. You wanna get to know this person. If you just like, you know, watch a movie, like, cool movie, huh? Yeah, see you never. So that that's I understand that. You know, I get it. I get it. You know, even if you just go with like play some laser tag and you just like have your own whatever, like you just don't get to talk too much. You might enjoy some activity together, but it if it if it's only that, then then you didn't get the chance to talk, I guess. That's why, for example, uh the zoo and aquarium could be a good choice. And you can still bring along some food, you know. Imagine you bring along a pizza while going to the zoo and the aquarium. Pretty cool stuff. So, that would be a better choice than maybe going roller skating and laser tag. But yeah, I get it. So, I wanna say we both dress up in something casual, eat dinner at an expensive restaurant like Mastro's or something. Cool. So, I guess you're paying, right? That's some uh, bouge shit like Mastro's uh, for the first date. Well, why only expensive restaurants? Why not uh, Cheesecake Factory or something? I only eat at expensive restaurants. Low, nothing more, nothing less. That's just my standards, and the man must always treat. <laughs> it's game over, man. It's game over. You could have just said that, uh... Well, that's actually a better way to put it. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't respond. This guy, fuck yeah. This guy is like, I'm going to date with him. <laughs> so if a dude uh, took you to Texas Roadhouse, or like a Outback, something you wouldn't be grateful for that? Some some steak? Like I don't I don't know the place, but that kind of sounds like a place that uh, serves steaks. You know, I would be totally into that as well. This guy this guy knows knows the best dates. Fuck yeah! Oh no, personally I would eat the food, uh, entertain him for the night until he takes me home, then block his number. Can be fucking uh, with no broke man. You gotta be joking. No, I'm actually very serious. Okay. I mean, people have uh, different uh, different ideas, different expectations. If you just wanna be uh, someone who is rich and takes care of you, sure, go out there and try to get that. But one thing, if you're just with them for the money, 
and they are with you for your looks, guess what's gonna happen? You're not, they're not gonna marry you. What's gonna happen is like, you know, you get a little older and they're just gonna drop you and they're just gonna keep dating. Well, even if even if they stick with you so for so long, which would, I guess, be even worse. But they, they're just gonna drop you. Because, honestly, that would be... That, that would be the fair situation. Like, obviously, what she's hoping for, like, a rich guy who who is also gets emotionally attached to her, very much so. But if it's, like, if it's the fair situation, then she's, on, she's into the money and he's into the looks. That's it. And in that scenario, you're gonna have it for uh, some time. But it's not gonna keep happening for a long time. And after that, uh, you're not gonna be as hot as the, as the other girls. So it's, it's not gonna last for too long. I mean, you can you can try to have get what you want, but uh, good luck. I thought Cheesecake Factory was an expensive place. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in the U.S. Let's let's go one more. Oh man, it's so unfair. Every basic online dude I know has a girlfriend, and every perfect online woman I know is single, and I do not get it. What? You just call all the dudes basic? Maybe that's your problem. <laughs> Perfect online woman I know is single and I do not get it. Jesus Christ. People need to stop judging other people. I, I only judge other people as a joke. But I'm not judgmental. Why your ego refuses to connect the two? <laughs> I'm a basic dude and I most certainly don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that happens too. Alright, let's go. One more. And... I I, that's it. Wait, what is this? Just because everyone else's crush likes them back, mine will. You wanna know what pisses me off? Us girls, we have crushes on you boys. That's not very healthy. Uh, or at least, like, just like having a crush and not, not engaging in it. <clears throat> you boys don't give a crap. So, here we are. Us girls stay up till 12 wondering why you don't care about us. And we wonder why you don't like us back. You have to express yourself. You know, this is kind of, kind of I, I was a little hesitant to talk about this, but you know, you got to be direct. You can't just like, oh, yeah, I mean, like, I'm just fishing and he's going to get me. No, you just can't accept that. Like, what I'm going to say is that if you're not going to ask, you, ask your crush out, it's just not going to happen. OK, you just going to have to accept that. You know, I don't care who you like. You can't accept them to uh, pick up on that. It's just never happening, okay? You might as well go with the assumption that you're just gonna go out with people who you ask out. There you have it. Because that's basically the reality for guys. <laughs> and if you just wanna have some control over it, that's gotta be the reality for women as well. And every, every other time that people just like ask you out, that's just a bonus. But you can't really rely on that. We stay up uh, until 12 crying because you boys broke us. How did you get broken? We know our best friend has a boyfriend or a crush that likes them back and we break down. We listen to songs like American Dream and we cry. Wow, you're super emotional. We read confessions on Instagram about how much girls love their boyfriend. Yeah... We go on Pinterest and read text messages of girls breaking up with their boyfriend and we cry. Wow. So, th she, like, thinks more about emotions than I, I do in a year. Uh, I just don't. I just I just think about some of the stuff. We hear about everyone at school and their crushes liking them back. But then, oh, it's gonna be the, the big one. When there's girls that you didn't give a chance... Two girls that got shattered into a million pieces. Oh, so sad. So focused on other people. So focused on, like, boys that you don't tell anyone. This is just bullshit. Love that oxymoron of men don't care and our best friends have boyfriends, you know. Maybe the issue is with you, but nah, can be. Damn, so damn emotional. <laughs> I'm not used to this. God damn it. Alright, that's it. Enough of this. Uh, it was it was a little different than uh, than the nice guys. The nice guys were more like more like you know I'm I'm trying to focus on getting you to like me, 
And this was more like, uh, oh, of course, this was more like, you know, picking other people as well, but this is a little bit, well, that was entitlement as well, right? You know, you're entitled to like me. So this was very similar. Yeah, it was, it was basically identical, but I'm thinking about it. It was, it was a little bit different, but basically identical. So yeah, cool. Anyway, uh, that's for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.